NA1SS, 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 NA1SS. This is CP6 ESC. Do you copy, Yoga? This is CT6 ESC. My name is Jose. Good afternoon. I'm transmitting from Escola Secundaria de Saveiras, the Regio Secondary School in Portugal. How are you doing? Are you ready for the questions? Over. CT6 ESC. Of course I'm ready for the questions and it's great to be with you in Portugal. Over. Roger, Roger, Sunita. Great to hear you. Stand by for the first question, please. My name is Teresa, CT2, JKY. What do you have to do to become an astronaut? Over. Hi, Teresa. Well, there's a, a number of ways you, be, you can become an astronaut. Uh, the way I did was I'm a Navy helicopter pilot and then went to test pilot school. And there's a bunch of us who are military pilots who are in the astronaut corps. But there's also a bunch of people who are either doctors, we have even a veterinarian, we have engineers, chemists, physicists, astrobiologists, we have all sorts of people in, in the astronaut office. And so any of those fields, primarily technical with some math and science background, is, uh, is good for uh, being an astronaut, but we also even have teachers. So there's a whole range of uh, specialties. So I think the biggest thing is do what you like and you'll become successful and then uh, they'll pave your way. Uh, over. Roger, Roger, Sunita, I'll copy it. Uh, get ready for the next question. Stand by. Hello, Sunita. My name is George. Charlie Tango to Juliet Mike Home. What do you feel during the liftoff and the trip to the ISS? Over. Hi, George. Well, um, it was pretty amazing uh, feeling altogether. First of all, getting in a rocket that was fueled and actually practically started uh, was pretty incredible. It was it seemed like it was alive. Uh, right up at, at liftoff, when the engine started, we could feel the vehicle started rumbling, and then when the solid rocket boosters uh, lit, we felt ourselves getting propelled off the Earth. Just eight minutes later, though, we were in space and we were floating around. Of course, that was pretty much of a jolt to the system, and I just wasn't feeling too good right away. But it's amazing, just after about a week, um, you feel like you've gotten totally used to it, and, it, and floating around becomes second nature. Over. Okay, Sunita, thank you very much. Next question, Joan is going to ask you the next question. Stand by. Hello, Sunita. My name is Joan, CT2, JQ8. What is the sensation of being orbit? Over. Well, to uh, capitalize on this, the question I just answered, being in orbit is just incredible. It's sort of a combination of uh, swimming and flying. At first, I thought it was pretty much flying uh, without having to flap your wings, but it's more, a little bit more, I think, like swimming, like being a fish, because all you do is push off of something and you'll float until you grab onto something else. There's nothing really to stop you. So that's pretty amazing. And being able to just uh, flip around in the space that we have up here is just incredible. And to be able to move big things that weigh a lot, uh, you don't feel that sensation of it weighing anything is pretty amazing. However, those big things do have mass, and so when they do smash into you, it still hurts. Over. My name is Pedro, CS1 Airway. What kind of experience are you doing right now? Over. We're doing a lot of experiments primarily based on trying to get us, uh, you know, use this ISS as a test bed to get us back to the moon and on to Mars. And so we're doing experiments on ourselves to find out what happens to the human body being in microgravity for a long time because we experience uh, bone loss as well as muscle loss and there's also radiation concerns that we have. We're also doing experiments on materials like uh, composite material hinges, capillary uh, action p potentially for a future engine design. We're also doing experiments on growing plants in different gravity environments by using a centrifuge up here and as well as doing interesting uh, types of techniques on swabbing and understanding uh, what type of bacteria and, chem and viruses could be in this type of environment. Over. Hey Sunita, my name is Felipe, CT1LT. Enormous pleasure talking with you. How is it like to experience zero gravity environment? Over. Hi Felipe, it's just incredible. Um, Sort of like I said earlier, it's a little combination of flying and swimming, but, uh, you know, when we're out doing our spacewalks in these suits, which weigh...